What's going on, loves? I'm sending you a big piece of my heart in this truly challenging time. We are strong, we belong on this beautiful earth, and we are all connected. So allow yourself to breathe easy and enjoy this tour of my spring capsule wardrobe. I had to start off strong with these ruffled floral shorts. These are vintage, handmade, and they're absolutely adorable in a cabbage patch kid kind of way. <laughs> No, but in all seriousness, I feel my absolute self in these. I'm really not a huge fan of shorts. They're always just too tight or too short. So these are perfect because they're breathable cotton and a generous length. They pair perfectly with all of my basics and come with the added bonus of extra lovely smiles at the grocery store. I definitely dress in joyful colors and patterns for me but the joy it brings others is truly icing on the cake. Now I'd like to shine the spotlight on these sensational basics. When I say sensational, I mean it because I have really sensitive skin, so I need to wear soft clothes that are comfortable, and these absolutely are. They're from a company called Four Days, and they have this really cool thing. It's called a closed clothing loop. So when you purchase a piece of clothes from them, you can wear it as much as you want and send it back in exchange for another shirt when you're ready at a huge discount. This isn't sponsored. I just think they're really cool, and they're probably the most sustainable brand I've ever supported other than just shopping vintage. So to give back right now, uh, Four Days is working hard to make and donate masks. So find out on their website how you can donate some masks. I'm truly grateful to have learned about this brand from my sister, Kelly. I love you so much, Kelly. Next up is this darling paisley mini skirt. This is also handmade and vintage. I feel so confident in this, which is really a blessing. Everyone deserves to feel good in their bodies and in their clothes. It took me a really long time to build a wardrobe that actually makes me feel that way. So I truly am grateful for it. This floral maxi skirt is a really nice heavy material. It was seen in the Splash music video, which is actually the song you're hearing right now. So if you haven't checked that out, go check it out. This next piece was probably the last non-sustainable piece I purchased from the sale rack at Anthropology. I really do love it and get a ton of use out of it. And these next two dresses are from a wonderful shop that actually closed down in Madison, New Jersey. At the time, almost 10 years ago, the owner Betty was in her 90s and she was telling my friends and me all about how she had just acted in her first play. She had gained these points that I guess People in theater can gain points towards unionizing. So she said that she had gained like a tenth of the points from the show and just how accomplished she felt. So it was really inspiring that no matter how old you get or no matter where you're at in your life, you can always change things up and try something new. So as you can see, I've clearly worn this one a lot. It's even fading a little bit in its color but you have to think, I have had this piece for almost 10 years. And before that, it's been alive for 50 or 60 years. So vintage truly does last and sometimes even outlive modern pieces. So it's definitely worth it if you're looking to splurge on some statement vintage pieces that you can build your basics around in a wardrobe. I do wish, however, that someone had told me when shopping vintage to look for materials that I'm already familiar wearing, like cotton or linen. It definitely does take more time and effort to seek out certain materials when 
you're shopping, especially in a vintage store. But a lot of times when we're comfortable in a piece of clothing, it's because of the material. So if you take that one extra step to ask yourself what you're already comfortable in and then seek that out, you're going to feel so much better in your clothes. And that is priceless. Okay, so this polka dot dress I got recently at Vintage Alley in Verona, New Jersey. I actually wore it on tour with Jesse Mallon's band. I was supposed to wear all black for the tour, and as you can see, I definitely don't own a lot of black, so this came in handy. All right, this rainbow kaftan dress is vintage and handmade from the 70s. It's just my favorite thing, self-explanatory. <laughs> This next two-piece set is vintage and came from my friend Emily, who was in my yoga training. I'm really grateful that people recognized when I was younger that I enjoyed vintage clothes. So they would just give me different things from when they were younger or from their family. Sometimes I'll wear a cute lacy bra underneath it because it has low armpit holes. Ar armpit ho arm holes? <laughs> you get it. <laughs> And this is actually Vintage Saks Fifth Avenue, which I didn't know. This was a hand-me-down from my friend Casey Rowe. Here I am just getting tired and hungry, but this actually is the dress that I wear around my apartment all the time because I'm too cheap to buy curtains, but like to dip my toes in nudism. So I just throw this on. <laughs> all right, so this is also from Four Days, this amazing, cotton jumper. It's super cozy in. I can do my yoga or lounge around the house. Here are my dickies. These are actually from Urban, another um, one of my non-sustainable purchases from a couple years back, but they're super useful. I like to paint in these, do projects in them, and feel very official. This jumpsuit was a gift. It's super comfortable, lightweight, and yeah, great for all occasions. These jeans I got on Etsy. I love them so much, as you can see. They are super cute and have amazing pocket details. They are high-waisted, thank goodness, because it's about the only silhouette that looks good on me. That probably sounded not very nice to myself, but what I mean to say is that High-waisted jeans are just really flattering. As you can see, these low-waisted jeans I also like, and they are cute sometimes, um, but I really prefer the high-waisted versions. All right, so now you're about to see all of my comfy clothes, all of my yoga clothes. A lot of these were given to me from people's travels or just different hand-me-downs. All right, well, thank you guys so much for watching. I honestly couldn't even film everything in my wardrobe and I had thought I minimalized it. And yet I couldn't even film all of them. So truly, I do feel like it is worth it to cut back, cut down, donate what you can and buy pieces that will truly tie everything together, make you feel comfortable and confident every day. I know that so many people right now are just not in the financial position to spend their money on things like clothes. So know that whatever you have is absolutely enough. And if you are looking to spruce up your wardrobe in this time, check out the site below called Rehash. It is a free clothing swap site, which is really cool. You can find people who have a similar style to you or the same size and swap your clothes with them. I also want to turn your attention towards all the artists whose art I used in this video. I find my clothes to be really inspired by the psychedelic art movement and modern interpretations of that, so I wanted to use some of those artists' work as the transitions of this video, so all of that will be linked below. As well as any clothing stores or sources that I mentioned in the video. Remember, 
You are absolutely beautiful just the way you are. I hope you enjoyed this. Make sure to subscribe and like the video and leave a comment if you enjoyed and want to connect with me. I love you all so much. I hope you're doing well and have a truly beautiful day. I'll see you next time. Bye.